um, today I'm going to go through steps of how to do your applique and use your applique mat. <laughs> Good morning, Dottie's with me doing some videoing today, so hopefully I don't send her off to sleep. <laughs> so the first things first is I've printed out my pattern on some A4 paper, um, and I'm going, I've got my light box, and I've got my black texture. I have my Tilda Fix, which is the same sort of stuff as um, Applifix or um, Liza Fix. So it's a, um, uh, what do they call it, a um, fusible webbing. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is draw out my pattern. Now, with something like this, I could actually print it out straight on to this in the printer with Applifix. Sue Milburn um, says hello. Hey. Sue Milburn oh, says hello. Oh, g'day Sue. How are you going? And Rado. And Rado. How are you, love? So what I'm going to show you is the basic um, and how I use my applique mat. Um, Ella. Ella, g'day, good morning. So I tend to move the um, paper, what I'm drawing on. Hold on, actually my, my actual webbing has come off because I've had it folded and sitting there for a hundred years. Let's just take that off. Okay. Okay. Hello, Ella. Hello, Ella. Oh, she's saying hello to me. <laughs> oh, hello, Dottie, she says, yeah. Judy. Hi, Judy. Judy Bub. Oh, yeah, Judy Bub. How are you going? Okay, so we're just going to draw around these. Nice and simple. Um, this little pattern is going to be a bonus giveaway when you watch the, um, the show... What's it called? Uh, the, uh, the Quilt Show with Ricky Timms and Alex Anderson. This is something I've made up for them. So um, you'll get this if you subscribe to them. Now, you'll notice that on the pattern it actually has all these dotted lines and everything. Those dotted lines are overlapping lines, placement lines. You don't have to draw them in on your uh, piece of Liza Fix or Tilda Fix or whatever you've got. So I try and get as much as I can onto one piece. As you can tell, I'm not really overly sharing it together on me. I can always meet it up with my scissors. That video is okay this morning. Someone asked me yesterday if I sleep. <laughs> I do. Occasionally. <laughs> you always leave yourself a little bit of room between each piece. If you notice, I'm sort of leaving myself um, just that little bit of room. Might have to get. Oh no! I might just make it if I sneak it in there. Um, I think I've got. Oh, I'm the here. I think I've got the little heart. Yep. I don't know if I'll get it in there. Might not. Might get it under there. Yeah, I will. <laughs> So I've just got my box of um, scrap fabrics and pieces of fabric uh, next to me and I'm just going to use that. Um, I've also got these here, which I need to do as well. So I'm just going to pop that aside. Do I get that one? It doesn't look familiar. I don't think I have. I'll get that one as well. can put all the numbers on if you want to. Um, it's not that hard to follow. A um, bit of tape. I just tape it to the top of my applique, uh, my um, light box. And I've just got another piece of this here. Just a random piece of found. And I'm just going to stitch them on. You should, if you get your applique um, 
Matilda fix and you get it folded like it's sent to you folded or whatever you should unfold it if you can maybe roll it up it does hold better if it's rolled up rather than folded can be folded if you need to um, and I'll show you how to stick it back on the paper this tilde fix doesn't normally come off it's really quite good um, the only reason why it's come off is because I've been brutal so I'll just put this over here and turn that off bear with me a minute Dotty just gonna get my scissors sorry my little ones wherever I've buried them there they are okay all right so once we've got those you'll come over here the next thing is to randomly cut these out now what I tend to do is look at the picture figure out where they're going and what colors they're going to be and you can see it's very random cutting nothing specific and that gives me plenty of room when it comes to sticking them down on the fabric to play with them. Now this one here, you'll notice it's come off the, the actual um, netting. Place that back on. Just like that. I'm going to find the right way. There we go. You've got a dry iron and I've got my applique mat. And also those little brown ones that you guys bought at some of the... the um, sales that I had with no steam just heat the back up now it takes a couple of seconds oh, but no steam just make sure that we're on no steam the iron's got to heat up and you can get it back onto the paper with a bit of luck See it's gone off the edge. Just enough for us to be able to cut out our pattern would be awesome. There it is. So it's back on. Now, if you're wanting to, you can put the numbers in that. You've got numbers and everything on your little pattern. You can just place them in little groups. And you can see they're the wings. Okay, so these ones I'm going to keep together. They're the wings. They're going to stay together. So that's going to be going somewhere like that. Okay, so you can see it's starting to come off. If I place the iron back on it temporarily, it just holds it down. And then you won't lose another one over here. You won't lose them then. And yes, it will come off again later. Can't hear you, Gidget said. Turn your volume up on your computer, <laughs> on your phone. Anyone else having trouble hear me? Hi, Ioni. That's better. What's better? I don't know. She's turned it up. <laughs> no, um, that was Jacinta. Can't pronounce her last name. What's happening with the applique, Michelle? Sorry? D Beverage has just asked what's happening with the applique. What's happening? I'm going to show you how to use the mat properly, how we use a mat. Um, a lot of people don't know how to use them properly. What? Sue has just said has not got her finger on the microphone. I think she might have. <laughs> no, I've got her finger on the phone. Can you guys all hear me? I missed the beginning, the paper. What paper are you using? I'm using Tilda Fix. Can't hear. Can't hear? Yep. <clears throat> no. Can everyone hear me now? Keeps going silent. Did for a while, but better now. Okay. You think yourself lucky that you can't hear me. Imagine listening to me all day. Good God. Can't give anything worse. Yep, we got the thumbs up now. Okay, good. All right, so their feet, see that? Their ears, their cuffs, face and mush. Don't know what that is. Could be anything. I'm sure it'll tell me. That's 
the skirt yeah the hands face love hearts flower okay so um not too sure where that is oh might be that under there that might be that one i'd say by the looks looks like it so that's part of the skirt which is here that one that one and that one and that and then we've got this one which is going to be good question yeah what good now oh, okay good Voice oh, goes, it's I only here. just said good um voice goes in and out oh does it could be just me <laughs> it's highly likely it's just me <laughs> could be fading in and out easily <laughs> all right so we've got them all ready now the best the next thing you need to do is obviously select your fabrics so you can iron them on a mat or you can iron them on here so like an ironing mat which I've just got um, a piece of fabric there um, or you can do it like I say on um, a um, applique mat either way it works so I'm just going to move, give myself some space. I'm going to go with the brown first. Excuse me, itchy nose. Now, so you've got volume on. You're mm. going to... There we go. Try that. All right. Beauty of... Um, well, my head is gone today. I can't get my words out. The beauty of Batik is that it's... Um, it's non, you know, there's no right side or wrong side, really. Some you can see it, but most not. So that's her little face. So I've got the dry iron, and I'm just going to sit it on there. And I can leave it sitting there for a minute. Doesn't hurt. And then I get the next one. The rule of thumb is around about 20 seconds or so. Cool, hey. Mm. And this iron, even if it does heat up, it will, and I've got it sitting in the down position, it will actually pop up. That's the beauty of it. And her little mitts, where are they? Down. And they can go down. So even though I've already ironed this tilde fix once before, it doesn't really matter as long as um, it comes off this stuff with no residue, which it does. Okay, so they're ready to go. I'm just going to cut them out of that bit of fabric. Because I actually hate having holes in my fabric. I'd rather cut the piece out and then just trim it up out of that. So I did have a little pair of scissors here somewhere. There they are. And then I will... Now this is going to be fairly rough, just FYI. Because I'm doing it quickly. Any questions? I have an applique mat, but we appreciate the demo, thanks. Yep. D movement. Yep. Who was that? D. Yep, no worries. So a lot of people have those little brown ones too. Um, I'm ordering some more of these ones. These are the ones that stop the, um, the glue from running. Um, they're about $35 from memory, unless they've gone up. I do like them. So now my job is now to cut out on the line. Now, because I've got a nice big thick texture, I can see it nice and easy. So don't be frightened to use a texture. Little feetsies. And I've got a, no, I've got a bit of thread on there. I thought that was a crease. Now I've also got the inside of her face so I'm looking at that going, okay, well, what colour am I going to do her little mush? I'm thinking I might do it a little lighter. So that'll be the next thing. I didn't have that here's one I prepared earlier thing because I wanted you to see it from start to finish. Shouldn't take too long. Once I've got them cut, it's really, really quick. All right, that's a little pause. Then we need a little mush. Very little mushy. 
think we should have a pink bushy. I think we should have a pink bushy on the brown face. Yeah, why not? She's gonna have a pink bushy. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Little pink snout. There you go. Snout. If it was a piggy. See that? See how it's got the paper on it? I hate that. That is a pet hate. I'd rather cut that out and lose that bit of fabric. Absolutely hate that's a pet, pet hate. There we go. Now I have clean fabric. Because even if you take the paper off, you've still, you still got the glue. glue there. Yeah, it's very annoying. Okay, um, I've done the ears, the feet, the hands, and the. Yep. Okay, so ears and face, and her little mushy. That's her feetsies. So I can start. Um, I'll just grab a pin. Um, the best way to get this paper off the back here because it's really hard to, to try and bend it and stuff is just to score the back of it and then break that away and it'll stay on the fabric and see it's shiny yeah some of it's uh, moved and that's because I had to re-glue it back down. So we've got a little face and I'm going to do that with the ears as well. And it's not helpful with long bloody nails, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> uh, tweezers are an absolute gem doing these things. So her little ear goes towards back got a bit of thread there and I've put it underneath so if you can see here I've just thrown it underneath there like that and I'll get the next one should get tweezers I've got them somewhere right I think that ear should be on the other side no it's not sharp no. <laughs> <laughs> oh look at the picture oh, yeah. mm. It's a small ear. That's telling me how to do it. What? You got the comments? Oh, yeah, that yeah, you sometimes used, you have to wind yeah, it. Yeah, I used I used it on my dress. It was great because it didn't slip. It didn't that's slip. right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. Just join. This is Jill Mitchell. Yeah. Is that a large applique mat? Wow. Yeah, it is. So um, it's half a metre square. Sue says you make it look easy. It is easy. And you're so quick, says Dee. Wow, thanks for that. I always have trouble. All Kay. right. Is that down there? Judy Downing says hi. Hi, Judy. And hi to me. Hi, hi Judy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Yeah, most people have trouble getting that paper off the back. This is why it runs quickly. And you can even get the pin and just lift it up underneath there, if, or tweezers even, if you've got enough. of. There you go. you just got to um, break that surface. Wow, one on my wish list. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, one on my wish list. I think she means list, but she's got last. <laughs> oh, okay, wish last. Yeah. So this... this um, this um, mat is um, an absolute gem and a half. So I'm going to turn it that way because I think it needs to be smaller on that side. And I'm right. So that's her little mush. Yeah, you've got to keep doing that and checking it. All right. So now the beauty of this is now I can lift it up because it's just all one piece. Look at that. And all the glue stays there. So I pop her little head aside and we move on to the next thing. So let's do some arms. Where are the little arms? Come on arms. There's the cuffs. Oh, there they are. So I'm going to make the top part of the dress 
different to the bottom part of the dress. I'm just going to cut that out because that's excess I don't need to be on my fabric. All right. Dee said I lost so much time removing the backing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It takes you forever. Now, a pair of tweezers um, if you've got <laughs> long nails and a, and a pin. What are you humming about? Oh, there's a little, little bit of um, editing from the lust to the list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is something I've been playing with, so I'm just going to use that because it's just got little... Um, it's actually got... Um, um, some embroidery, embroidery stitching. stitching on it, yeah. Pretty. It's pretty. But it's got two pieces joined together because I was playing. Um, I think, is it Faye? Yeah. Um, asking dollars. She's got dollar size. Oh, how much is the mat? The mats are 35. I'm taking orders today because reason being is, um, actually I might not use that one because I haven't got quite enough, because I've got to put an order in with the wholesaler. So I've run out of them, so I'm putting in more orders. So if you're wanting one of these mats, please send me a PM. Um, a bit hard, unless Dottie can write them down, but it's a bit hard to write down when we're videoing. Um, otherwise, everything goes back to front and I have it on, on um, selfie mode. So the next bit I need... Gidget is gobsmacked. Gobsmacked, Gidget. Why? Why, why, why gobsmacked? Easy peasy. These are just little bits of fabric I've had lying around. And I've had them lying around forever. And ever and ever. Nice and easy. Uh, yes, please. Put her at, um, Who's that? Who's yes, please? Bye. Oh, yeah. So... Um, I've got quite a few orders to write down, um, so um, if you can send me a PM, that would be super awesome because that would just save so much time and effort on me trying to send each person a message to say who was it who ordered this, who ordered that. Um, it just saves a little bit of stress and time for me. See how that didn't stick down long enough? It's because I haven't had it sitting there. So you just, just don't be so impatient. <laughs> and while that's doing that, I'm going to cut around this. I've only, this is D. I've only got an A4 size brown applique mat. This looks great. Oh, I love this mat. Um, there are other mats. I think it's called Fuser Mat. And I used to have them. Um, but they're so, so expensive. Um, these mats you can actually put in your washing machine, dishwasher as to say, not washing machine, dishwasher. Um, they're, the, they're just brilliant. They really are. So if you're wanting to clean it, there we go. See how that iron just pops up when it overheats? So I don't actually have to worry about it. The Oslo is about $2.69, I think, um, at Statewide. I know they've got them. Um, they did have them on special. If you're really, really nice, I presume they might sell one on special, but I don't know. Dee's asking, sorry ladies, where can I buy this mat from? Um, send me a PM, uh, D, and I'll um, I'll order you one in. What's heat, what's, yeah, what heat setting do you have your iron? I've got it on the hottest setting. Gel. Uh, cotton and linen. No, no steam. And linen... Asking, have you placed your mat on a normal table? Yeah, absolutely. Show you. This is just my work table, just wood, nice and easy. Oh, here comes Candy. No, uh, uh, Candy. Sorry. Come on, quick. Candy, good. Okay. So that's a bit of scrap. She's jumping on Dotty now. Sorry, guys. She's just a bit excited. The dots is here. So I am now cutting that out. And I am one to um, put my iron down and walk away sometimes um, and forget and have it on the, the sit like the down position. And um, I have done that with normal irons. And, of course, you burn your, your uh, fabric. But with this iron, it will just pop up for you. All right. 
so here we have the arms little that's the arms that way and that way and they'll go like that and these are the little cuffs and I seriously need my tweezers they're getting smaller and smaller these pieces um, one of these left they're only too big to get through someone said love my oliso iron yes ella got one the other day um and she went down and visited wendy so i um just fold them over are there measurements on the mat uh yeah there are so there's 6 12 and 18 inches and it also has the 45 degree um, cross hatching on it as well. Judy, oh, I have to go. Sorry, Michelle. I'm That's okay. The, the, the something rather band. The H U S band. Husband. Oh, the husband. Oh, the husband. Sorry. <laughs> Just blown a fuse. Oh, <laughs> I'll okay. watch this later. No worries, darling. Talk to you later. Alright, so those little pieces that you can't get, just lay that on top of there. Perfect, tweezers are perfect for that. And get that little booger out. Everyone laughs at me when I say booger. Oop, dropped in. It's got a little spot on it, I don't know what it is, come off. Alrighty, that can go there, sit that, that tape on there, and I'll just sit that there. <sighs> Don't be steaming, you're not allowed to steam. Alright, so this one here is around the neck, that one is under the skirt, that one is the skirt, that's got to be purple, and I need to do the hearts, so we'll do the hearts next. Now, if you want to pick them up, you can also use your iron. Do you uh, yeah. love your jewellery, Michelle? Oh, thank you. I love I love rings. <laughs> if you didn't notice. <laughs> I wear them all the time. Do you know, one year, many years ago, I went back, I went trying to get a job just in, um, in retail. I was going to do that because I thought, oh, well, you know, I can't seem to get a job anywhere else. And this is well before I was doing this. And... Um, I went to, this is a true story, I went to a job interview um, and spoke to um, a bloke and it was a berry plant place. I won't say where it was, but it was berry plant. And I was there and he said to me, uh, mind you, I was good 10, 15 years younger, and he said to me, oh, um, I don't have anything for you right now. But, um, and I kid you not, these are his words, but he said to me, but you're such good eye candy, you can stay. And I just looked at him and, you know, I was so low in self-esteem that I didn't even pay attention to what he said. Anyway, I went back to do some training and I'm there doing this training. And do you know that he turned around and told me that the rings on my fingers make me look like a tart? And I kid you not, that is a definite true story. So you know what I did? I took him off for the third time I went and saw him. And I'm sitting there looking at him and I'm watching the way he is. And he repeated that eye candy thing again. And I went back home. And this is, this is when oh, the kids would have been really young. And, um, and I left there. And I went back home because I had all my jewellery off. And I went back home. I put all my jewellery back on. And I never went back again. <laughs> they were expecting me back. And I never went back again. I went, that is it. If you can't accept me for who I am, then stick booger to you. So I love my jewellery. <laughs> that is a part of me. But how's that? You're a bit of eye candy. It's good to have some eye candy around. And he would have been in his, maybe in his 60s. He said, I love, <clears throat> I wear lots of rings. How rude. Yeah, it was rude, yeah. But I didn't twig at the time because, you know, I just I just wanted a job. Wouldn't get away with it these days. No, he wouldn't, no. No, he would not. 
Let me put that one in there. Sorry, I'm just flipping around colours, just playing. Serena's chasing someone. Oh, it's right. I just made a no, I'm gonna leave that down. So there you go. So job interview. How's that? That would be sexual harassment now. Oh Ms. yeah. Noah. It was was then. Yeah. yeah. Does that map make heat underneath? Um, good question. I can feel it, but it's not hot, hot. Dirt bag said that. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Gross. How, how rude. Yeah, he was. And, you know, it took me... I never really told Rod. Never bothered. Because it just wasn't worthwhile mentioning. Because it wasn't worth... He wasn't worthwhile putting another thought into. So, I just let it go. Alrighty. We're going to join the heart now. But then many, many years ago when I was at, um, I went for a job interview and I was 18 and I went in this, I had this really nice, I thought it was lovely, had a really nice white dress, a skirt suit on and I thought I looked lovely. And I went to this job interview at the Morgan Pole and I did a, I got down to the last three, I think it was. And um, anyway, he, um, I, I did, an aptitude test, never done one before, ever, ever. I was 18, 19, right? So I did this aptitude test and he comes out and he says to me, either you've done a lot of aptitude tests or you're extremely intelligent. And I just looked at him and I said, I have never done one before. I didn't even know what it was. And he just looked at me. He didn't believe me and I didn't get the job. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. What's with these blokes? I I'm Stella. They did not think it was a bad thing back then. Had no. a few incidents myself when yeah. younger. Yeah. Um, they pigs. wants to know the brand of the iron again. It's Aliso D. Um, I can organise one of these for you through Statewide Sewing Centre. It's called an eye touch. Um, and it has, at the back, it has these, the down or the up. So if I flick that across and I pop it down, it'll just pop up. If I put that back, it just drops down. But when I leave it in a spot and it overheats, it will pop up automatically. It's steam or not steam, and it does have quite a few things of it. It's also got the spray, of course, and you've got the, uh, from, you know, synthetics, off synthetics, you know, wool, silk, and linen and cotton. Um, mine has had a beating. <laughs> Because you know what I'm like. <laughs> I'm a Brutus. Um, yeah. Julianne says hi. Hi, Julianne. So I'm just um, getting into this. Now, I'm sort of looking at my heart there and I'm going, yeah, I'm not overly happy with it. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to get a little bit of Lello, like a mustard yellow, and I'm going to glue it on there. Like that. Don't want to lose that little booger. Hey. And then I'm going to, just because I can, cut that out and get, um, oh, see this? This is just the thingy. I've just got the, the netting. Place that over there. I'm just going to trim that little bit off there, just so the iron doesn't get a whole heap of goober on it. Get rid of it. Make it up there. And I'm going to put a third row on it. Oh, we're allowed to cheat. Of course. Yes. I'm allowed to cheat anyway. I don't know about anyone else. Jackie? Mm -hmm. Hi, Jackie. Lisa, Jackie Garlic? Lisa Walker. Yeah. Uh, yes, Lisa Walker. Hi, Lisa. Well loved, says D. Oh, it is well loved. Does the iron have a stand, Gidget? No, no, it does not. It just sort of sits sits on the bench, either up or down. It'll take you ages to get used to leaving it down. Mm. <laughs> and uh, when I first got this iron, this has been through. This has had. It's been to hell and back. This iron. 
when I first got it, I was at a, a workshop and I was at the shop and I bought it at the shop. Um, and um, anyway, I thought, well, we'll just use my iron. So we went to use it and one of the, the um, ladies there doing the workshop actually got a fright. And when she let go, she sort of did, you know, when she was hold, holding it, it popped up and she went, oh, like this. Well, she threw it. <laughs> the poor thing went flying. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, I love the colours, says Jackie. Thank you. And Stella's got um, a War and Peace novel here. Oh yes. Hang on. I remember being interviewed by Jerry Harvey and he told me he preferred a younger person so I told him his loss and the next time I went in there I could not be served. Oh. I could not get served and went to him and said if you had hired me I would have served the customers a lot quicker and better than the team you have here. Yep. Then walked away with my nose in the air. Good on you, Stella. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, these men, honestly, I, I don't know what makes them think they have the right, you know, to, to speak to you like you're a piece of meat or a piece of shit, basically. And that's what they're looking at you like. You're just a piece of shit that they can just talk about and I'm sorry I'm swearing I shouldn't be but um yeah that they just make me angry all right I'm just doing some placement here Beck said goober and lots of laughing and, uh, <laughs> and hearts and then she said you speak my language <laughs> I do yeah I'm thinking that looks pretty cute so I'm just see how I'm overlapping oh Looks like an evangelistic thing. I have got a head going the wrong way. Do you want me to try and get it off? Look. Put it over there. There we go. Now go the right way. <laughs> Thanks, Dottie. Why didn't you tell me that? No, it was the ear that I was saying. <laughs> oh, no. So I'll just sit that down. So we can, I mean, I've been yapping for a bit while we're doing it as well. So just so you know, not, um, so I'll let it go until it just jump, pops up so you can see. Any more comments? No. Oh, that's a big comment from Stella. It mm. is. Mm. War and Peace. Mm. Oh, that's a War and Peace. <laughs> the, the size of it, is that what you're saying? <laughs> a War and Peace novel. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it took me a minute. <laughs> Stella said, shade, shades of the exorcist. Shades of the exorcist? Where? I suppose it's um, a flying person. Oh, yeah, I know. It looks like... Um, yeah, I can't think of a name. Uh, the flying nun, Sally. Was that the name? No. You're the exorcist? No, you got the wrong... <laughs> Have I? What are you thinking? No, the exorcist. You know, she was possessed by the devil. Oh, uh, I think I've seen it once. What yeah, the... I can't think of what a name was. No. Oh, look, I've got a bit of this and I can use this. See that little bit of black there? Don't you love yeah. the teeth? Mm -hmm. That little bit of black there is for this bit. Come here. Jackie said, love when you yap. Lovely what? Love when you yap. Me? I oh, do. <laughs> I do it a lot. Talk underwater with marbles in my mouth. Head back front, still see. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. It's all good. Oh, it is too. Don't be like that. <laughs> Who's going to know? Don't yeah. tell anyone. Just because it's live doesn't mean you have to tell everyone. <laughs> uh, that, that's the head back to front. Ah, oh, yes. Now I'm going to have to move its ears. Look at that. Now you're really freaking me out. Uh, let's see if I can get that one off. It's like a band aid. You've got to do it quickly. There you go. Alrighty. The head back to front is like the exorcist. There we go. There's one now. Do you have a rough price for the iron? Jackie wants to know. Jackie, then, oh, God, I, think, I feel that they're way down deep in my waters. They're around about two sixty nine. I got a feeling mm. when I was there the other day. Um, if Wendy was online, she'd tell me. She's yep. not online, is she? No. no. Linda yeah. Blair. Linda With Linda Blair. Oh, that's it. Her head used to turn. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. <sighs> See, this group, honestly, they <laughs> always have the answers. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. She's laughing. Yeah. Uh, Alice said two sixty nine. Yep. There you go. I was right. All right. 
right, so that, and this one here is, um, well, he just said, watch that once, and Toot was out the backyard, had to wake people up to go to, in the dark. <laughs> it frightened the bejesus out of me. Did it frighten you too? I, when I saw it, I thought afterwards that they turned the air conditioning on in the theatre. It was so cold. All oh, right. I was shaking with cold as well as everything else. Yeah. I've never watched it again. I really? hated it. Oh, it affected me for months. Serious? Mm. No, it didn't affect me. Uh, I'm a whoosh. Hey? I'm a whoosh. I'm You're a whoosh. whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a whoosh and a whoosh. There we go. Jackie said thanks, hon. No worries. Just place that there. A few Hence. orders coming through for the app okay, Matt. Yeah, good. Okay. That's good, ladies. Now, little little pause. Sometimes I can bend it, it comes off, but it didn't. Now, this is why I use the applique mat. What you'll see is I can do it all here rather than on my fabric because when you put it on your fabric and if I had to move that like I did before, I'd be buggered, literally. Um, yeah, that's it was right. really scary back then. So. I know. I, I was talking to my son about Jaws. You remember Jaws? Yeah. Oh, my God. Didn't it frighten me? I would yep. never go in the ocean ever again. I was frightened, absolutely petrified of the sea. And my son just said, oh, well, well, we watched that not long ago. It's so fake. Look at the size of the fin. Right. The... And I said, are you serious? Back when I was a kid, that was horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. And he goes, no. And I said, yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. I jumped. Did you? Definitely, definitely jump. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's her head's going over the top of that. It's supposed to be under, but it can stay. The tweezers really do help a lot. They do. Yeah, they, they really do. Mm. Yeah. Because my fingers feel I've like never, little fat nobbles. I only have never watched it. Horror movies frighten me. <laughs> I'm with you, I only. Yeah. I, I, um, I actually, they don't normally frighten me. They used to. Not anymore. Sue said, I was like that with Jaws. Didn't want to take a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I know I took a bath I just wouldn't go to the ocean and when I did I'd freak out I, I, if I couldn't feel the ground underneath me in the, in the water like I'd be beside myself you, you got to sneeze or the other yeah. <laughs> oh, my. oh okay I'm rattling oh your bangles mm -hmm. yeah um Dottie has bangles on. Normally she takes them off before videoing because they go clink, 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 clink. I like them. <laughs> there it is. Tinky, tinky, tink. Wind chime. Yep. Oh, my son and I love Jaws. He's 13. Beck. So do you... So you don't need your Teflon mat, Julianne? Yeah, it, it works the same way. Teflon mats use, it work exactly the same way. So is the glue run with them? No. no. With this... No, with the others, the Teflon. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. So Where did I put better. my pin? Oh, there it is. These are better than the Teflon, but they work the same way. So the difference between these is, is that you can actually... Um, teflon are a hell of a lot cheaper too. Um, these, you when you glue it down, if you notice, there's no glue going onto my iron, even though my iron's dirty. Um, there's actually none going onto my iron and it's not going any further than the actual applique. When you use the Teflon, sometimes the actual um, uh, glue will go, will actually go further than what they should. So, it leaks out. Yeah, it does. It sort of <coughs> leaks out the side. I'm just going to lift that up. Bear with me. Oh, Any yeah. Stephen King movies does my head in. Really? Ella. Ella. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, I like him. It doesn't frighten me at all. Um, but, um, yeah, you sort of go, when you're a kid and you're watching something like that, oh, it's frightening as anything. What? Question? Okay, look different through here. It, it looked like you had that light pink on top of the moon. Oh, okay, no, it's not okay, underneath. Okay, Okay. So I'm going to put this one. Stella said, love Stephen King. Love Stephen King. <laughs> He's pretty clever. Mm. He'd be an old man now. He'd have to be. 
although I did start young I'm just going to use this bit here because I can um, yeah he did start really young I loved um, E.T. Loved E.T. E.T. go home. You need to get old for that. Too. No, that's right. How long ago was that? Oh, 30 years. <laughs> yeah, a well, long time ago. I was nearly a young person. Mm, almost. <laughs> <laughs> you like that you just realised what I said. Yes. <laughs> Almost a young person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oops, missed you. See, I missed all that because I was looking at something else. Oh, okay. There's, there's comments. No, no, I, I didn't even roll a comment through. Uh, Where are you located? I, I'm near Ballarat. I'm about 30k south of Ballarat. Came across you while I was scroll yeah, scrolling Facebook, enjoying the show. Oh, good. Good. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, having a bit of a struggle. Yep. They can see them. They can see me struggling. That's awesome. All right, take those Brad little boogers out. My husband must have really weird brain. Oh, oh yeah, he yeah, would. Yeah, he he would be extremely eccentric. I would imagine. Um, very artistic though. I have to ask, do you have a, sh a German Shepherd? I'm having trouble with my mouth. What's, put your teeth back in. I know. <laughs> German Shepherd barking, Sue. Do I have one? Yep. No, it's a it's a um, Kelpie, and he's a bugger for barking for no leading reason. Thankfully, we're on property, and it doesn't really matter, because <laughs> if we had neighbours, he'd be we'd ha we'd have all sorts of trouble. Jackie said, "I laugh out loud." You know, I have never seen E.T. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, and Ione as well. She's never seen it. Good God, woman. You like extraterrestrial stuff? Yes. It's awesome. E.T.'s lovely. Do you know what used to frighten the kids? Um, 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 oh, gremlins. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh, gremlins. Uh, Becky was beside herself. She was... She was absolutely beside herself. Jackie said, I've seen Mac and Me. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, Mac and Me. I've seen that. PP was released in 1981. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. I feel that explains it. My kids would have been one high school or less primary school. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I love this mat, says Jackie. The mat is brilliant. So you can do these on those little applique mats as well. So we've almost got her done. And I'll just sit that there for a mini. Stella said, great movie, E.T. Mm. And Lana Kern-Ramsdell. Mm -hmm. I am in Spring Hill, Kansas, USA. Oh, I'm going there. To, I'm going over to you guys as soon as I can. As soon as that plane hits, hits the ground, I'm out. <laughs> Dottie's, Dottie's coming with me. She's like, ah! <laughs> We just won't riot. Gritting, gritting my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Under protest. Kicking and screaming she will be. <laughs> um, Once she's there, she'll be fine. Gidget said no more needle turn. And this, you know, it, makes, it does. It makes it very oh, precise. Oh, yeah. Oh, needle turn. Look, needle turn is for those who, I mean, who love just doing hand sewing. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is a beautiful um, thing to do. Hmm, wings. Um, but to me, my life is... Life is way too short for, for me to do um, everything needle turn. I have done needle turn. I can show people how to do needle turn. But preferably I'd rather the raw edge applique. I'm just wondering what colour wings. I know you're going to all say Simba. Sue said very deep bark for a Kelpie. Yes. Well, he, he's a very big, like he's, he's such a bloke. <laughs> And Stella said, um, oh, yes, my grandies were scared watching Gremlins. Should we have pink wings? I think I've we're going to have to. I've never seen Edward Scissorhand either. Oh, I love Edward Scissorhands. He's awesome. I oh, know. I did enjoy that. I did. I, and I love, Fred. love, love. Um, Fred, no, Fred. What's his name? No, not Brad Pitt. No. Um, oh, my God. I can't even think of his name. Um, <laughs> Johnny Depp. That's right. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Scary eyes. 
strange, oh, he's strange just, guy. He's a strange man, but he's yeah. very, he can leave his shoes under my bed any day. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> um, where am I up to? Uh, I thought it was a great movie. The mum was the hero. Yeah. Yes. Stella says me and it. Ella. Did you say you used tracing vileness? Uh, what? <laughs> tracing who? Vileness. Oh, I've used um, Tilda Fix to trace um, uh, for the glue, like the, yeah. yeah, with the paper. I've used Tilda Fix, which is basically a fusible webbing, what they call a fusible webbing. Jackie's got to go. Okay, Jackie, catch you next time. We're almost done. And Deborah, now, showing other mats, please. Sorry? Showing other mats, please. Showing other mats. Oh, the other ones. I uh, don't have any in stock. I can show you mine. I'll get them out. And Deborah wants to know how much the mats are, please. 35 they are. They're half a metre square. Um, machine, um, sorry, dishwasher. Can be used in the dishwasher to um, clean if you wanted to. And um, yeah, very, very, um, very handy to have. And you can just roll them up, but uh, you don't have to be um, fancy with them. Michelle Armstrong. Hi, Michelle. I've lost sound and would like to know how much the mat is. Is it on your website? Oh, it might be. Um, can you text there? So if you tap in that little doodah there, mm -hmm. just write. Um, Matt's uh, $35. She might be able to see that. Without losing that. Yeah, and then you can just... Oops. Um, did you text yeah. it? Yep. Have you put it in? Yep. Yep. Um, I usually say I would not climb over him to get to David Stella. <laughs> 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 I do he like just... him. I think he's very yummy. Um, and he doesn't seem to age like others, but obviously that's because he's a superstar. And... I don't know where the camera was going when I was doing it aloud. I'm very sorry. Definitely stop on the way for Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Hugh Jackman, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would. But if I, like, um, what's his name? Tom Cruise. I'd chew my arm off. I, I would chew my arm off. Yeah, I, I can't stand him. He's just a horrible person. I was uh, asking, are they on the website? I'm not sure. I can't remember. I think they are. Um, you? Yeah, what? I'm waving it around, looking. Oh, yeah, stop waving the camera around. <laughs> oh, the girls will get dizzy, get seasick. My goodness, the lag is so long. Is it? Maybe it's just because I'm not scrolling through. Can I order one, please, Deborah Horton? Yes. Hurrigan, sorry. Uh, oh, Deb, yeah, Hurrigan. Yes, you can. Um, if you wanted to, you can um, send me a PM, Deborah. Can she hear me? Can you hear Deborah? Just trying to figure out which one this goes on. It would be on the one behind. Can Deborah hear? No. No reply. Okay. All right. So picking her up and manoeuvring. Now. And then we're up to almost a second last little piece. I'll send Deborah a PM if um, I don't hear from her. I think that one goes, might go under there, I think. Under, under, under. Get up, up, yep. There it is. And. I think this is the last one on the top. I've got them the right way around. Don't you love the pin technique? Whenever I show people that, they always go, ah, oh, because <laughs> it's one of those things you don't think of doing until it's shown to you and you go, oh, yeah. Uh, so now it's become obvious that it's in reverse. Yes, it is. Yes, because I traced it from the front. <laughs> All right. So once we've done that, then we need to put it onto something. Deb wants to order one, please. Yes, shall do. Can't stand 
Tom Cruise here, the slimy little yeah booger. little booger. <laughs> sorry, budgie, budgie, sorry, budgie. Yeah, that was Mova Johnson. <laughs> When you have time, can you message me the cost and postage to New Zealand, please? Who's Michelle, that? Michelle Armstrong. Oh, Michelle. Yep, yeah, sure. Um, I've got a feeling postage um, would probably be around about the $16 mark, but I'll, I'll, I'll double check it for you. You ready? After all that, there we go. Pick it up in one piece. My little thing off there. And no glue has spilled out anywhere. And she's ready to go. So I can now place it down there. I might put her a little bit towards the back a bit. Just hang on. Yeah. I'm going to turn around because it might be better. That's better. Okay. I don't know if you can turn it around while you're on. Um, what's the name? It might carry on. Carry, crack no, it. It was, was that okay, folks? I'm... No, no, no. I mean that the thing might not let you turn. Oh. Yeah. No, I was turning, like, just like turning myself. No. Oh. Um, how much is the fus fusible? Uh, $9 a metre. It's about well, yeah. half a metre wide, just under. I have to order some more of that too. So I'm just going to now put the flowers down. Um, this one goes in front of her, so I nearly lost my pin. And because there's nothing for it to stick to, it's going to be stitching. It's, um, I'm going to just place it straight on. You sell those tweezers too. I've got one pair here. Oh. Um, I've just about sold out of them. Yeah, I know. I tried to get them. I'll see if I can get some more. Um, but I'm not too sure if I can get some more. But they're only like two dollars fifty, so they're so cheap. I, I got a whole thing of them. Um, but uh, yeah, I can see <laughs> if I can get Sue. some more. What's that? Dot's doing good. Yeah, she's doing a good <laughs> job. She's doing an awesome job. I have been known to almost go asleep. She does. I did sleep. tell her not to sleep. No. <laughs> <laughs> I did say you're not allowed to fall asleep this time. I think it must be because people fall asleep when I do the the um the sales things too. It must be something to do with the tone of my voice. <laughs> no, this is a lot of free motion. A lot of free motion. What will send when you to sleep? Went, yeah, no, when I went to sleep. it was. Yeah. Um, it's like watching an embroidery machine. It's sort of um, mesmerising, and then you just sort of go into a la la land. It was the cockatoos oh. in the in the tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Yep, lots of. Emotion. There was lots of free motion. Back with the ball. Yeah. And, and and she got a complaint on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> because she fell asleep um, and she was nodding off. So the camera work was really horrible. It was so funny. And I said, I actually ended up with like three or four complaints from people on YouTube because of the videoing. <laughs> I do publicly, publicly apologise. <laughs> So if you get to that video on YouTube, on, on uh, Michelle's Patchwork on YouTube, that's what it is. If the camera work is really shoddy like that and, and it just sort of goes <laughs> like that, that's <laughs> Donnie falling asleep. <laughs> How often are you on, Lara? Lani. Lana, sorry. How often on YouTube or on here? You just said very smoothing, very soothing voice. I just drift off. <laughs> soothing. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> You're being nice. Have I got my glue off? No, it's still stuck on there. I put some heat on him. Um, yeah, so once I've got this done, I don't know what I'm going to do with it now. Obviously, it needs to be stitched. Mm -hmm. hmm. So I'll need to... Um, stitch it at some point um what's my next video it is a quilt as you go hmm. well I might use it in that then i'll see come on you little booger on here um 
Oh, how often do you video on here? Um, every video. every week I do a live sales um, thing where on Monday night I do a live sales thing where we we sell I sell um, fabrics. Um, as far as going live here, when we have the craft show, I go live. Um, uh, I'm just going to heat that up there. Otherwise, I don't always do them live here, but I do have a YouTube thingy that I tend to um, put videos up on, and I'll put the ones that are up here as well on YouTube. Um, but, I mean, if someone requested for me to do one live, you know, I, I would do it. You know, it's just it's um, supply and demand, I suppose, isn't it? Yes, Gidget. Maybe just bloody tired. Who's, who's tired? What? Yeah, exactly. And Pat's just come on. Hello, ladies. Hi, Hi Pat. What have I missed? Oh, nothing really. <laughs> just talking about movies and stuff. You can watch it again. Yeah, it'll be there. It's applicable. Yeah. So we just used the mat to show you how the mat works. And those little um, applique mats you guys bought, the little brown ones, they work the same way. Um, this, these ones just have a few more features and they're a lot bigger. So if you're doing bigger projects, um, sometimes I wish I had two. Because <laughs> sometimes the projects are really, really big. Um, it's a tiny little doodah, isn't it? Mm. There's 43 watching. Oh, nice. Hello, everyone. <laughs> 43 of you. So once I've got this down, we're going to raw edge applique it, but I reckon... Pat said, do I have an elf in the background? You have Dotty in the background. Um, Dot's working with me today. Elf will be here tomorrow night with the sales. Um, it was funny yesterday because I, Julie um, wanted to come and pick up her stuff that she, she had ordered. Um, which is fine, absolutely fine. And she rocked up just as I was about to do um, the the live sales. I said, oh, look, here, you can help. <laughs> I think that one goes on there. You just said, see those little pieces? Uh, just too tiny to turn, to needle turn nicely. I agree. Yeah, they are. Yeah, you can't, can't. not, not. Just can't. No. Well, I suppose no. people do. All right, are you ready? We're all happy. <sighs> So the idea with any kind of um, applique, don't really, you don't really have to iron it. You're just pressing and holding down um, and the glue will stick. If it doesn't, you have to, haven't left it there long enough. Sometimes it might take 30 seconds, you know, but no steam. If you use steam, it loosens the glue. Any other questions? Hello, Pat. <laughs> um, Jolene. Hi, Michelle Beauty. Hello. <laughs> How are <Hello>. you? <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is about 12 o'clock, which is in about an hour. And what's Jackie, La laugh out loud. Got a few, got, got a confession. I couldn't put you down, <laughs> so I had a shower with you in the background. <laughs> I promise, I kept my eyes closed the whole time. <laughs> uh, I thought you'd gone. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen you back. Um, so, so once which this applique is... paper do you use, Jill? The Tilda Fix. Yep, I use Tilda Fix. Janine. Hi, Dottie and Michelle. Hi, Janine. Hi. <laughs> um, uh, no, you just answered my question. Oh, good. Pat Rowe. Pat Rowe I don't know sorry. what that is, but I must have had the arm down there or something. I don't know why it's there. But anyway, I'm just going to do this. I think the arm should have been down further, and I've left the arm up a bit higher. Look, it's brand new. <laughs> And you'll probably stitch over it in. Yeah, that's right. So this is going to go to our next project, which will be the Quilt As You Go. So I'll show you how to do the applique 
at the same time as quilting as you go and joining it to your next piece. All right. So Jackie said, I hope so. You what? Weren't, you weren't looking. Oh, no, no. Get your eyes closed. And Gidget said, oh, steam, loosen glue. Can you move it then? If you've made a mistake, well, that's impossible. Maybe. Maybe. Depending on the size of the piece. I did it before. They were only small little bits. But see, I want to, I keep wanting to move the little heart above her little chin. But I'm wary as to if I, if I lift it, you might, I might just ruin it. So right. sometimes it's better just to leave it. <laughs> Can you explain the mat you are working on, please? Yep. Joylene. Yep, Joylene, this is an applique mat. It's just larger than the other ones you've had. And it's like a big silicon, thick silicon. It's quite thick. Um, Pat's having trouble. Pat said you've, you've frozen this end. Okay. Anybody else? And Sue said we really are a mad bunch. Yes, we are. We do that. <laughs> Julianne, can I order a meter of fusible, please? Sure. Just send me a quick yeah. message. Yeah. Okay, so this is like the other applique mats you have. The other thing you can do, which I could have, if I had have had it printed that way, you can put them under, and I can see the pattern underneath. So when I'm placing down, if I had it the other way around, I could have put my fabric on or, you know, when I was putting it on here, I would have had the pattern to just put the pieces on. Jill said no. What did you ask, Jill? I have to go back. Which applique paper do you use? Tilda Fix. Okay. Did for a second. Oh, the freeze. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, All right. No, not Jackie said not frozen here. Okay. Frozen, I should say. Not frozen here, Pip. So the next thing we're going to do is Cup of coffee. See you soon. <laughs>